Today on Eat More Vegans, it's the battle of the butts. Texas style pork butt versus Carolina style pork butt. Been cooking all day so that we could find out which is better. Stick around. Let's jump right in. I've got two eight pound bone-in pork butts. A pork butt is just a pork shoulder, uh, pork shoulder roast. You can get them at your grocery store. If you wanna get really good quality, you can get Berkshire or even Iberico. I'll put some links in the description if you wanna find some of that stuff. So I'm gonna make this one Texas style and I'm gonna make this one Carolina style on the same smoker with the same wood at the same temperature and we're gonna see what the difference is. So let's start by getting these trimmed up. There's not a lot of trimming that needs to be done. All I'm gonna do is take off some of the excess fat. Okay, so the next step, I'm gonna score the fat cap. Some people don't do this. I find that it helps the spices to get uh, into the pork butt. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. All scoring means is I'm gonna cut a uh, crosshatch pattern in the fat all the way down to the meat level so the spices can penetrate. Okay, let's get these on trays and get them spiced up. Okay, two identically trimmed pork butts. So let's get started on our Texas one first. All right, for Texas barbecue, we're gonna use uh, mustard as our binder, nothing fancy here. All right, our seasoning today is gonna be a really simple salt, pepper, garlic. This is two parts salt, two parts pepper, one part garlic, just a standard SPG seasoning. And more mustard over here. Okay, I think this one's ready to go. Let's get our, uh, our Carolina shoulder. All right, let's do the same thing for our Carolina pork shoulder. Only this time, instead of mustard, with Carolina barbecue, Carolina barbecue is based on vinegar. So we're gonna be using apple cider vinegar as our base here, as our binder. and the same uh, salt, pepper, garlic. Okay, we're ready to head outside. We got our Texas pork butt, we've got our Carolina pork butt. I'll meet you at the grill. Hey, welcome to the backyard. If you've been here before, you recognize Yoda, our Yoda YS 1500 pellet smoker. Uh, Yoda is running right at 250 degrees with a combination of oak and apple pellets. I'm using apple, of course, because pork loves apple. If you haven't been here before, Eat More Vegans is a channel all about meat. We don't eat uh, vegan people, we eat vegan animals, like cows that were grass and grain fed and pigs that were raised on corn and grain and even lamb and goat and poultry and all those wonderful meats, they were all raised as vegans and I like to cook and eat them and show you how. So if that's your jam, I hope you'll consider joining the family. Subscribe here on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, even start a TikTok channel for those of you who have TikTok. However you wanna engage, love to have you as part of the family. Okay, so let's get back to our cook here. Here I've got my Texas pork butt and here I've got my Carolina pork butt. And so far, the only difference between the two is mustard and apple cider vinegar, but it's gonna get a lot more interesting. So once we get these on the smoker, they're gonna smoke for an hour, and then the Texas, I'm going to spritz just with water. That's the traditional Texas method of making a pork butt. The flavor profile is all about the smoke and about the salt and pepper. On the Carolina, on the other hand, I've made here a uh, Carolina vinegar mop sauce. This one's sugar-free because I'm a keto guy. If you want to know how to do this, uh, you can watch my Carolina-style lamb shoulder video that I did a couple of weeks ago because I showed you all the steps to make this. But it's basically apple cider vinegar, hot pepper, salt, uh, some brown sugar, or in my case, uh, some monk fruit sweetener, a little bit of cayenne, a little bit of hot sauce, good stuff. So uh, at, starting at an hour and then every hour for the rest of the cook, this one is gonna get mopped with vinegar sauce. This one is gonna get spritzed with water and we're gonna see what the difference is. All right, let's go ahead and get cooking.
Okay, we're four hours in. Uh, you probably noticed I came up with two more pork butts. I got so excited about this experiment, I decided to do uh, two with the bone in, two without the bone that I uh, had from Costco. Uh, of course, I only made enough mop sauce for one uh, pork shoulder, so uh, I'm gonna have to go make a little bit more uh, pork sauce. Also, uh, I wanna thank Yoder for this cool hat. Uh, this isn't actually a sponsorship or anything, but I've had a couple of issues uh, with Yoda, and the uh, Yoder tech support team is amazing. Uh, Joey and Marlene, thank you for all of your help, and Joe as well for getting involved. Uh, and uh, when they sent me the replacement parts, they sent me this cool hat, so figured I'd share it with you. All right, I'm going to go make some mop sauce. I'll keep mopping every uh, hour on the Carolina and spritzing every hour on the Texas. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we're eight hours in, it's getting a little chilly. The bark is looking amazing on all four of them actually. The ones that I put on an hour later are starting to catch up in temperature. So I just put in some temperature probes so I can monitor the temperature of the cook because while well, we're not cooking for time, we're cooking to tenderness, we're gonna let them get the rest of the way up to 200 before we check them again. And uh, at 200, we're gonna start checking for tenderness. So the next time I see you is when it'll be time to pull these things off. Be right back. Okay, we're 11 hours in, and uh, as you can see from the application here, looks like the first of our butts is uh, just over 200 degrees, so it's time to start checking it. Uh, don't know if it's gonna be done, but I'm gonna check all four of these for tenderness. Uh, you're gonna see me use my, uh, my Thermalworks MK4 thermometer i'm not actually looking for the temperature i'm looking for it to go in and out like i'm putting it in and out of a jar of peanut butter or or a little bit of warm butter if i've got that almost no resistance feel to it then i'm gonna pull it and put it in a cooler i got two coolers here i got a blue one that will put the texas briskets in and a red one will put the north carolina briskets in no that is not a political statement and it's not a red pill blue pill thing i just only have two coolers so blue for texas red for north carolina or i test them and i close the smoker and i keep trying either way i'll see you back in the kitchen Nope. Not yet. How long is this gonna take? Two down. Two to go. When those come off, we really are going back to the kitchen. I like big butts and I cannot lie. I, I use the mop so it's really dry. All right, <laughs> close enough. How come you didn't sing, Leah? <laughs> I wasn't planning on it. All right, Leah, they want to tell you that if you keep rolling your eyes at your dad, they're going to stay that way. But you can roll I... with Uncle Mark if you want. I'm not going to. All right, here's what I did. All right, you ready? So we made two pork butts. I actually made four, but the other two aren't done yet. So I made a Texas style pork butt. So this is, you've had this before, salt and pepper uh, and water spritzing and mustard as a binder, right? And then I made Carolina 
pulled pork because now we moved to North Carolina. So this is a vinegar base with apple cider vinegar and some of mommy's hot peppers. And um, I used, uh, used brown sugar, but I of course used monk fruit sweetener. And uh, we're gonna see which one's better. Okay. Either the whole state of North Carolina or the whole state of Texas is going to love you. No pressure. <laughs> Why can't right. I have both? All right. Which one are we going to try first? Texas. All right. Let's all take a bite of the Texas. All right. Dig in. Let's all grab right. a piece. All right. I'll split mine uh, with you guys here. You guys, uh, you guys take this one. All right. All right. Ready? Cheers. 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 Mmm. That's good, right? It's pretty right. good stuff. MTY, what do you think on moist? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's moist. I'd give it like four out of five. It wasn't super moist, but it's pretty moist. I mm -hmm. think right? it's moist enough that it's moist. I just don't think it's overly. Um, it's not okay. five it's moist. moist. It's four Got it. moist. I All right. think it's five moist. Tea tender? Definitely oh, yeah. very tender. And yummy? Oh yeah. Yummy. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Texas, nice showing Texas. Okay. We ready to try the Carolina style barbecue? Mm -hmm. All right. You want to give a piece to Uncle Mark? Thank All right. You. Can I have a piece? I'll give you this tiny. <laughs> hey. <laughs> she thinks just because I've lost all this weight on keto that I don't like to eat, but oh. this is meat. I can have all. This. Oh, this looks so good. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, <how> <laughs> That's really good too. Mm -hmm. All right. MTY, I think it gets all three also, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna vote first so that I'm not the tiebreaker. I vote for Carolina because oh, sure. I like the vinegar. I kind of want to be the tiebreaker. So you want to be the tiebreaker? You want to be the tiebreaker? Well, if he, right. votes, if he votes for Carolina too, then there's no tie to break. True. All right. All right, what are you gonna vote for? Yeah. Do, 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 <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> I'm gonna go Texas. Uh oh, there's a tie. We've got one Texas, one Carolina. Leah, who is the pulled pork champion? I like the Texas better. Whoa! Texas wins. It's an All right. Upstate. All right. So we won't tell any of your friends here in North Carolina. Guys, it was pretty close here. I mean, it was two to one. I think we, uh, none of this is gonna go to waste. It's all gonna get eaten tonight. I hope you had fun. If you haven't seen the video where I did a Carolina style pulled lamb shoulder, you wanna show them where it is? It's right, right there. up there, right? And if you've seen that, I also made a Berkshire pork butt months ago, back when we were still in New York, and I'm gonna put that one down here. So check that out. I hope you had fun, and we'll see you next time on Eat, Eat More, More Vegans. Vegans.